Hi good people, habari zenu. I'm back again with a very very easy recipe and today I'll be showing you how to make the soa uji. This is ile uji ya mokio, ile uji ya ukikuyuni ama kimeru. I, I believe those people also make the uji. Lakini this one most of you love the soa porridge but they don't know how to make it. And the alternative they go for it's buying the soa flour from the supermarket. But today I'll be showing you how to make the soa uji at home na unatengeneza nyingi at once then you 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 be serving yourself um kidogo kidogo as time goes by when you crave kukunywa uji soa unatoa tu kwa mtungi yako una warm unakunywa yes so um the process of this uji you have to soak uh unga baridi uh for about three days and i'll be showing you how it's done the only ingredient you need ni unga baridi hii ni unga ya mahindi yenye imesiagwa it's refined totally refined it's very very soft and then you need some warm water you need um a, a bucket or something uh, something with a cover for you to soak your uji and then uh, I, I mentioned unga baridi ndio hii it's very refined then you need some warm water and then a bucket or a tin that has a cover because you're going to soak this uji this unga for three days then after the three days you'll need um unga ya wimbi eh, ama uji mix for you to make your final final porridge sawa tuko pamoja mpaka hapo so i'll show you the process you start with a, a bucket eh? then uh, for me i've measured uh, one cup and a half which is enough for my family then uneka kwa ndo it's a very easy process nothing much but na wewe kinyo utapata hapa you'll never buy at the unga soa from the supermarket for you to make the uji then i already warmed my water it's warm water you it actually you can touch it's just warm water not hot water warm water then um since shai kaunga uneka maji yako you stir properly no lumps sieke lumps hapa unakoroga vizuri 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 mpaka hakuna ihe stigati go ha ha uni go twitaka soro wa mokio very delicious I love this porridge. Even pregnant women are, are, are recommended to take this uji in asaidia kutoa maziwa. Not the first one week. Kwanza kama wewe ni wa CS, ufai kukunywa juu ni 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 kama venye unakata huko mkia kukula uh, njahe kama wewe ni unafanywa surgery. So this one is not recommended for the first um first week after giving birth if it's through um, uh, cs but after that you can take it and inakupeanga maziwa kwa wingi please note you put a, um, a lot of water uh inakuwa it's just supposed to be a paste ikwe tu hivi kimaji maji mimi nimemaliza kukoroga it's well mixed make sure hakuna malamps ikuwe smooth eh? kabisa kabisa then we mix like that and we are done then we cannot net any ongeza much kidogo yes now i'm done then you cover it properly mama nimechafua ndo yangu you cover it properly just like that and store this in a cool dry place for the three days you'll be checking if the water uh, the, the the flour will sink na uko chini and then maji takuja hapa juu usidhani ni mbaya and then itaanza kubabu don't think at it may spoil hiyo sasa ndio inaleta the soreness that you'll get in the final product so ikiwa hivi just make sure the water is more than the flour usipate time yenye unga iko juu na maji iko chini it's supposed to be more than the flour so i'm going to store this somewhere and i'll be showing you for the next three days until we make our uji 
thank you so much let's see you tomorrow and see you in the bye this is the one after soaking my baridi flour uh, this is what I meant. The water should be more than the flour. As you can see, the flour has sunk. Ikochini. Then the water is on top. This is how it looks like from the outside. I'm going to open. You see, even the bucket is sweating because some fermentation is happening inside. Then I open. I told you there will be some kind of bubbling from inside. Uh, this is a process happening. So, ukipikauji itakuwa imechacha ju. We already soaked our baridi flour. This is the one. So, I'll cover again. I'll show you how day two it will be looking like. Then, on day three, we'll cook some porridge and store it in our mtungi and take it at our own convenience. So, uh, so, after three days, the, our mixture that we soaked looks like so and then we have our other flour that we're going to mix with this so that we can make our porridge our traditional soa porridge do you imagine uh, let's get to mixing so uh, you're not going to pour the water that you soaked with um in the maybe baroka bacteria ka kakfanya uji ikwe ikwe mosoa after you cook it you cook it na naeka kwa mtungi so what we are going what we are going to do sorry what we are going to do is mix this flour with this in our pot in our bucket like so Maybe. Then you mix the normal way that you mix flour with water when preparing uji. You mix here, please. So you mix it the normal way. So you mix it properly, kabisa kabisa, with no lamps, so that your final product uh, doesn't get the lamps. So you wait for your water to boil, then you cook the kawaii the way that you cook your 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 normal witch. The only difference is. Because we already soaked our baridi flour, once you store this in a mtungi or in a kibuyu ama wherever in a jerry can, it will continue to, to ferment. So the more it stays, the more uh, so it becomes. Okay? And the more sweet it becomes. Some people prefer to take the, that porridge after storage when it's cold. Other people like me, we heat it up, add some sugar, and drink it. Yeah. We, we take that with the Uneza Kunyo Namkata. Me, I love bread and uji. And you know, I'm going to do Uvo Uji Pekiaka. But let's wait and see the final product. So, our water has boiled. Uh, we have already mixed our flour. So, the next process is to put the uh, flour mixture into a boiling water. The kawaida way that you cook um, uji. Star, star, star. If you feel it's too heavy, you can add some, some more water to make it lighter. And you have to make sure it's lighter because you're going to put it in a mtungi or a jerry can. Venye ineza toka kwa yo mtungi. Sikae fanya ikuwe mzito sana. Na? Fanya ikuwe mzito sana ikose kutoka kwa mtungi. It has to be light.
So this is how it looks after you cook it. Yes, now you can put it in your jerry can. Now it's time for us to taste. Porridge is served, served. See how it looks. You can add some chia seeds if you love chia seeds for you to make it more nutritious. But you can also take it like this. For me, I take it with bread. <laughs> sour, sour. I hope you tried this recipe at home. Let me know um, the outcomes. Uh, if you like it, let me know. You can also share how you do, how you make your soil porridge from scratch. This is how we do it uh, in my motherland. In my, yeah, in my motherland, yes. Ah, yeah. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time. Ciao!